Oh, just kidding. Little... <laughs> little levity there. No, we, uh... But when the ego is born, the ego stays in the nest for an indefinite period of time and relies on its mother for food and protection. So here we have the gull representing independence, the eagle, instability. If eagles wore underwear, their name would be written on the inside band. <laughs> ah. Let's look at flight. How do they fly? The gull's long, narrow wings and strong, sturdy frame enable him to soar, dip, and glide over the ocean with an unsurpassed grace of flight. And the eagle, on the other hand, uses short, choppy strokes and needs updrafts or winds deflected by mountains to even fly at all, let alone with unsurpassed grace. <laughs> look at their eating habits, shall we? The gull eats fish. Okay, just fish. He either finds them along the shoreline or swoops them deftly out of the ocean. Now the eagle, he too eats fish. Here, he finds some dead ones along the shore. He eats <laughs> mostly fish, along with the occasional innocent family of rabbits. Oh. He eats fish, but he gets most of his food by pirating from other birds. That's right, steals it directly from another bird and claims it as his own. Now, do we want a thief as a national bird? <laughs> no. The least he could do is ask. Hey, Storm, you threw with that mackerel? It's all it would take, but no, piracy. <laughs> huh. Tell you what, I'll tell you a few more things you may not have known about the eagle. First of all, the female eagle is larger than the male. <laughs> <laughs> the female larger than the male. The female gull isn't larger than the male gull. No. In fact, the male gull is much larger than the female gull. The female knows her place and stays smaller than the male gull. <laughs> Another thing. It's a small thing, but the... The eagle is a frightening-looking bird, not lovable at all. It looks like it's always mad, like it's about to attack something. That's fine for uh, fending off the Russians, but uh, put it this way. You let it guard your house, but would you let it babysit your kids? <laughs> no. You come home, the door's open, the crib's empty. There's a note. Sorry, baby cried, I ate it. <laughs> no fish in the aquarium, the dog's in the tree. Who needs it? Okay. Now, on the, the, the gull, on the other hand, where'd my buddy go? You have the gull? There he is. There's a friendly looking bird. He's a pal, huh? Yeah, you'd let him watch your kids. He'd let you play with his kids. He don't care. <laughs> At least he'd be around when you needed him, which is more than you can say for the eagle. Because you know where the eagle is concentrated, those few remaining eagles? In Alaska. That's right, in Alaska. Here we are printing money with his name on it, his pictures on the presidential podium. And he's up in Juno doing God knows what. <laughs> oh, the go. The go. This guy spends his time on the coast. Yeah. Cruising along, soaking in the sun, eyeing the chicks. <laughs> My kind of bird. <laughs> the gull even takes in a ball game every once in a while. What's an what's eagle do for entertainment? Kill a moose? <laughs> Look, there is no doubt in my mind, and there shouldn't be in yours, that the gull's credentials far surpass the eagles in the race for national bird. So, the choice is yours. You can either have the fun-loving, beach-combing stud, or the bald Alaskan thief. It's up to you. I'll say no more. Except this. I think it's your duty, as Americans, to stand up for your rights and demand that either this eagle do something, shape up and quick, or we're going to kick that bum out of office and get a bird in there that can really do the job, huh? Come on, America, you only live once. <laughs>